Hi, I'm Mr. Franklin. And in this video, we're going to talk about static electricity and charge. So first thing we need to realize is that all matter is made out of atoms. Each atom has protons and electrons. So all objects are carrying charge of some kind. Usually they have equal numbers of protons, equal numbers of electrons. So they balance out cancel each other out and so the overall charge is zero. Um, that's why um, you don't see things just sticking to other things. You don't always see like shock yourself when you touch something, okay? And that's because of how those electrons and protons behave in certain atoms and in certain combinations of atoms. For the topic of static electricity, we're just gonna kinda zoom way out. So we're not gonna really talk about the atomic level, we're gonna just talk about a material level. So you're gonna play around with this gizmo later. And so the big thing for you to realize is there's a single balloon, there's a double balloon, but you, you can click reset when you're doing it for yourself. But basically we have a sweater and the sweater has protons and electrons and we have a balloon with protons and electrons. And then we have a wall with protons and electrons. Now, static electricity in general um, is basically the transfer of charge from one object to another. So if I take the balloon and I rub it on my sweater, I will actually knock off by doing work, okay, a force over a distance by moving those electrons to the balloon. So you could do this at home. Um, and you might be more willing to do this at home because people can't look at your hair being silly, but Take a balloon, rub it against your hair, and your hair will like fly up, and the balloon will actually stick to your hair. And if you've done it, charged it enough, you can take the balloon and set it to the wall, let go, and it will stick to the wall. Okay? Or you can, it will stick to other things when you do that. Okay. So there's a couple things happening here. So the most important thing is the balloon gets its charge because we rubbed it on the sweater by through friction, through work, charge is transferred from the sweater to the balloon. So electrons are transferred from the sweater to the balloon. So now the sweater is positively charged because we've taken away the electrons and the protons remain. So it's positively charged. The balloon has, has gained those extra electrons, okay, just on its surface and now, positives and negative, opposites attract, so I can let go of the balloon and it will stick to the sweater. Okay, now here's something that's really interesting though. The balloon is negatively charged. Watch me bring it to the wall. Watch what happens to those negative charges in the wall. So it actually pushes the negative, so like charges repel. So it pushes the, neg the negatives, the electrons in the material away from the balloon, which means in that local area, we got positive. So positive and negative opposites attract, the balloon sticks to the wall. So it's really interesting that this negative charge pushes the negative electrons away, which makes this local area positive, even though the rest of the wall is either neutral or right here in this section, it's actually going to be partially negative. So this is all based on the basics of charge, like repel, opposites attract. Now, what happens when you rub your feet against the floor and you so, oh, so kindly walk up to somebody else and touch their ear and you zap them, okay? Or you touch a metal doorknob and you get that little shock. Um, basically, you have rubbed extra electrons onto the balloon, onto your finger or onto your body, and when you touch something that is actually conducting, like metal, all these electrons jump back to, to, they jump to the other object to neutralize or equal out the charge. And you get that little zap. So lightning works the same way. So you can just imagine that you've got a cloud moving across the surface of the ground, okay? And as it's building up, we get positives and negatives. So we're going to get a negative charges 
building up and you're going to see the lightning and what actually happens is lightning starts from the ground and goes up um, it happens so fast we don't see it like that but that's actually where how it starts it starts from the bottom and goes to the top okay but we've got a buildup of positive and then the charges neutralize and we get this discharge of static electricity that is the basics of static electricity we do work to move the electrons to another object and now the we've got a charged object and that charged object can stick to or attract to things or repel things all right that's all i've got thank you